hi hope you're all doing good in this video we'll discuss various geometric outlines and geometric shapes of various natural teeth because in previous uh, PG entrance questions Manipal 93 and Ames 94 a particular question was asked regarding the geometric outline of maxillary first molar and the question is what is the outline or geometric shape of occlusal surface of maxillary first molar permanent maxillary first molar and the options were oval shape triangular trapezoidal and rhomboidal so keeping that in mind in this video let's focus on various geometric shapes or outlines of natural teeth so before that i would like to briefly discuss the various geometric shapes in basic format uh, that is uh, i just have drawn few diagrams here hope you can see so here this is a hexagonal shape where we have six sides right and then we have something called as rhomboidal so a rhomboid is nothing but a parallelogram basically a rhomboid is a parallelogram whose sides are unequal and they are not right angled so such a geometric shape is considered to be rhomboid and then we have something called as diamond shaped as you can see and then a trapezoid form where a trapezoid is nothing but again a quadrilateral shape where opposite sides at least a pair of opposite sides are parallel so in this case these sides are parallel so this shape is considered to be trapezoid so now let's see various geometric shapes of natural teeth starting with the occlusal surfaces of various posterior teeth so first i have a dental lab called bone box dental where uh, we have the anatomy of various teeth represented in a very well manner so first let's see the occlusal surface of maxillary premolar so if you observe the occlusal surface of maxillary first premolar you can see it has a more or less a hexagonal shape right so you can see here we have two buccal side and this is a palatal side we have a six sided configuration on the occlusal surface so, so that's x hexagonal so for your maxillary first premolar and for your maxillary second premolar the occlusal outline would be more or less hexagonal and then coming to maxillary first molar if you observe maxillary first molar as you can see here this is the mesiopalatal cusp the largest cusp and then followed by uh, mesiobuccal cusp which is second largest and then the third largest is your distal palatal followed by distal buccal so this is the order of your cuspal size and you can see the outline where you have uh, almost a parallel walls on all the sides and this shape closely resembles a rhomboid as i said a rhomboid is a parallelogram whose sides are unequal and they are not right angle if it is right angle it becomes either a rectangle or a square right and then even the maxillary second molar has a similar occlusal um, morphology right even that's a rhomboid uh, in shape and then let's see the lower premolars the occlusal surfaces of lower premolars and if you observe the occlusal morphology of lower first premolar it has more or less a diamond outline right so the outline is diamond in shape and if you observe mandibular second premolar since second premolar has a two different configurations on occlusal surface there can be either two cusps on the palatal side or a single cusp based on that we have a y-shaped pattern or h-shaped occlusal pattern so in this we have a y-shaped occlusal pattern and the shape resembles more or less a square if you observe clearly you can see more or less uh, one buccal cusp or uh, and also two palatal cusps a y-shaped occlusal pattern and the whole shape is more or less square right and then let's see the occlusal shape of mandibular first molar so mandibular first second uh, molar's occlusal surface almost looks uh, the same right if you observe this you can see you have three buccal cusps mesobuccal distal buccal and this is the distal cusp and two lingual cusps so it resembles a trapezoid right so we have two parallel surfaces and we have two other surfaces which are not parallel to each other so it represents a trapezoid right with the longest surface towards the buccal side now let's see the shapes of proximal surfaces of anterior teeth posterior teeth and also the labial and lingual surfaces of all the human dentition right first let's start with anteriors 
if you observe the proximal surface of anteriors it can be either a central incisor lateral or canine it has more or less a triangular outline right a triangular outline with base towards the cervix and apex towards the incisal or occlusal surface so it's the same more or less the shape is the same in almost all the anterior teeth right and now let's observe the labial palatal surfaces of all the natural teeth. It can be either anterior or posterior. If you observe closely, in case of anteriors, you can see that we have two walls, cervical and incisal, which are almost parallel, and it represents a trapezoid. So for all the natural teeth, labial and palatal surfaces, they have a trapezoid shape with the longest surface towards the incisal or occlusal surface. So it's the same in case of your anterior teeth as well as in case of your posterior teeth, right? And then if you observe the proximal surfaces of posterior teeth, let's take for example, maxillary molar. Here you can see that it's a trapezoid with shortest surface towards the occlusal surface, right? So even this represents a trapezoid shape more or less the cervical outline as well as the occlusal outline with occlusal outline being shorter comparatively to the cervical outline and hence it represents a trapezoid with shortest line or surface towards the incisal or occlusal surface and if you observe the proximal surfaces of lower molars as you can see here the proximal surfaces of mandibular molars they represent a rhomboid shape And coming to the question which I asked initially at the beginning of this video, which was previously asked in Manipal and also in AIMS 1993 and 1994 respective papers, the question is what is the shape of the occlusal surface in case of your permanent maxillary first molar. So the options were oval, triangular, rhomboid and trapezoid. So as I discussed the shape of the occlusal surface of permanent maxillary first molar is rhomboidal. So rhomboid to summarize is a parallelogram whose sides are unequal and they are not at right angles and I have shown you in this uh, diagram where we can see clearly a rhomboid right the lengths are unequal and they are not at right angles and it's basically a parallelogram right so this is about the various shapes of uh, natural dentition which we come across so understanding the basic occlusal morphologies and also the various aspects of teeth enable us to give a proper restorations and also various crown forms thereby maintaining proper contacts and contours and ultimately enhancing the health and welfare of our patient